Hello, people of YouTube. I'm back again for a, a good old fashioned pickup video this time. Um, yeah, so this is just going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, but um, if you know me, you probably know that I really enjoy all this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd show um, basically uh, one order that I made from uh, Japan. Uh, this is a bit of a bigger order than I normally make, um, basically because everything was so cheap um, and uh, I just kind of got a bit <laughs> carried away to be honest. Um, when I started getting my Saturn stuff, I, I looked on uh, the, the Jap Japan eBay um, and I found like a load of Saturn games that I wanted that was on bids uh, from this company called Yamatoko Classic, which probably if you do do uh, overseas um, eBay in, you probably know what that is. It's a big warehouse in uh, Japan that like sells internationally. So uh, they're very well known for like getting some really rare stuff and lots of common stuff and but like most of the stuff is just like great condition. But yeah, so I was uh, looking on there for some Sega Saturn stuff. Uh, put all the bids on it, all, all the bids, because they start their bidding at 1p for everything. So you just don't know what it's going to sell for sometimes. Sometimes you can get an absolute bargain or sometimes it will roughly go to the right price. Uh, so yeah, so I got all my basket ready and uh started bidding so yeah like i got a lot of the stuff that i wanted well a, a couple of things that i really wanted and i missed out on a lot of things that i wanted some some of the bids finished at the same time as each other which was a bit hard to uh, navigate between which what you wanted and everything and some a lot of them i just got out bid because i'm a bit tight you see but as i say i got a lot of stuff that i really wanted and then I just got a few that I knew just would pad out the order because it was like two or three quid. <laughs> so yeah, um, enough of that. What did I get? So, well, actually I'll preface this as well. Although most of this stuff was really cheap, um, it did end up costing quite a bit to get over here. So the post, I got 10 items from there and it cost me 20, just over 20 quid posted, which bargain in its own right. So. It came across and like literally came within a week or so um, and I was really happy, got the package, there was stuff missing from it and I was like oh what was going on and I looked on eBay and there was two uh, tracking numbers and the problem with that is, yeah before <laughs> I was rudely, rudely interrupted there, um, yeah so if you've ever ordered from International before um, you run the risk of paying custom charge on every item that comes through and the customs charge basically no matter how much it is always like the Queen and it decides to put on like 8 quid uh, for handling fees for each time that it goes through and because these came across as two different packages I got two lots of custom charges which I don't mind paying the custom charges it's just that I paid £16 in handling fees for nothing, which just rose the price of these like just crazy. So basically I paid 60 quid in postage for these 10 games. So basically it works out roughly about £6 postage for each game. But since I paid like £2 for some of these items, uh, <laughs> it ends up being about 8 quid each. I think I worked it out, I paid about 12 quid, 13 quid each for everything here. Um, Maybe a bit more actually, I think, can't remember. No, definitely no more than 15 quid. Uh, but yeah, so what did I get? Um, yeah, so first item is something that I don't really um, know much about. But it, again, as I say, I put a load of like filler sort of things in there. And I just wanted something that was a, a platformer that was a little bit different than what I normally uh, pick up. Because usually I'm getting a lot of like... Uh, the English games but like done in Japan because I love the artwork on them all but yes yeah, so I've got this proper little cutesy thing um, so what did I pay for that so I've got I've got me uh, eBay to hand I thought I did anyway um, let's see if I can get it out so this is called Shonen Ashibi Shonen Ashibi which is like yeah, a little seal and well this one costs £6 so Again, I probably paid 12 quid for this, so not too bad. Um, it looks quite a fun little platformer game, really, so I will be, uh, yeah, looking forward to just giving it a go. I probably won't go do much more than that. So, yeah, next up, right, so <laughs> I've been looking at this game for a while, and the reason why I've got it is because, uh, <coughs> well, I'll show you. 
<laughs> yeah, so from QC platformers to, uh, yeah, um, dictators. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is some kind of strategy game, and this is called Bar Barbalosa, and, uh, yeah, obviously it's for the Super Famicom. So, yeah, so the reason why I got this game <laughs> is um, me and my, one of my friends, we send, like, pictures of Hitler to each other all the time. Uh, just for jokes, just like in stupid situations, just like basically just mocking him, basically. <laughs> so, ages ago, I saw this. Uh, this is part of one of the images that we sent to each other. And then it just got stuck in my head then. I, I just needed to get it. But it was going for like 30, 40 quid. And just for a joke item, um, yeah, it wasn't something I was willing to pay. So, this came up and it had the 1p bid in. And I paid... Six pounds sixty eight for it. <laughs> Twelve pound. So yeah, I basically go for like half price, maybe a little bit less. So but yeah, great condition. I mean, yeah, as I say, this is just a joke item really for me, but quite an amusing one at that to be honest. Uh yeah, next up, so we've got um the worst item I've ever got Super Famicom, I think. Um, however, this is a really good one to have. So this is rushing beat. Um, oh God, I'll insert it there what it what it is in English. But yeah, again, um, oh, yeah, I can't remember what it is. But yeah, basically this is like one of the final uh, final fight kind of games that came out at the same time um, as Final Fight. But yeah, this seems to go for quite a bit of money in Japan, and I don't think I paid much for this. I think I paid. About 10 quid for this one. Hang on, let me have a look. Oh, 12 pounds for this one. So 18 quid in total I paid for this one. Which I'm sure this usually goes for about 40, 50 quid uh, in good condition. Uh, obviously this is in good condition, but if you put a box protector on it, it'll look great. And again, this is a good one to play. So uh, yeah, another great addition to the, uh, to the old uh, Super Famicom. Right, next up, so we have got, right, so this is a game series I'm really looking forward to, like, completing. There's five in the series, and, uh, yeah, so what it is is Great Battle 2. Um, so I think this one's called Great Battle Gaiden 2. Um, so this basically has all of, like, the Bandai characters sort of, like, super deformed and made cutesy. So you've got, like, Gundam, Ultraman, uh, Kamen Rider... Um, and I'm not too sure the other is, but yeah. So in Japan, like they have a lot of games similar to this. I think there's one Konomi do one called Why Why World, which have all the Konomi characters all super deformed and make you. But I don't think that came out on a Super Famicom. I think that was just there was a couple of games for the the Famicom. But basically, yeah, you just have like a level level or two from each world and like play 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 for it. So yeah, just like it's sort of like yeah, a greatest hit sort of kind of game, but like the, with these ones, each one is set into like different worlds. So I suppose this is like into like the the Gaiden world. So I suppose it's more like a more mystical, more like ninja style. Uh, Great Battle Five. Now that's the one I really like to get. That one's set in like a cowboy world, um, and that supposedly the that, that gameplay on that one is just like top notch usually the, the 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 larger the number goes the worse the games get but not in the case of this series the only problem about uh great battle 5 is that one goes for about 150 200 quid so i don't think i'll get in anytime soon so what did i pay for this one All right so this one moved down now this one costs a bit more um but th that's because i really wanted it i didn't want it i think i let too many games slip by so I needed to get this one. So this one cost me £16. So, yeah. Not too bad. I mean, again, these are all games I really want. And, uh, yeah, another game that i really been wanting for a long time. Now, I've been saying I don't want to get any games that I can't read. Well, if I want games that I'll be able to just play and don't have to worry about reading. And so that was no more RPGs anymore. So I broke that rule with this one. <laughs> because I've been wanting this one for a long time and I just think that artwork on there is just incredible so uh, what do they call this in Japan so gotta keep moving every time uh, so this is called Tenchi, Tenchi Suzu for the Super Famicom but in the West we know it better as Terranigma 
So, yeah, so this cost me 20 quid. So, I think that was a bargain price. I'm sure this goes for about 40, 50 quid usually for the Super Famicom. And if you know the Super Famicom, uh, Super Nintendo PAL version, that's about 100 to 120 quid. So, yeah, I mean, as I say, I can play this on my, um, on here, on my Super Nintendo because I've got my um, EverDrive there. So, I can put a patch version on there and play it no problem at all so yeah again this is one I've really wanted to play as well so yeah it's part of like a series uh, what, what's I can't remember, can't remember who it is who does it now um, but yeah there's part of a series of games that like all the same um, and yeah just great just action RPG I mean I probably could just pop it and play it now but I mean I'd rather have like the actual English text on it but I mean again this whole package just looks amazing and great condition so another real fine addition to this uh, the collection now um, yeah so we was talking earlier about well I was talking earlier about um, Super Nintendo well the, the games that I really enjoy collecting I don't know why uh, I like this the, the Western games that have been brought. Yeah. So <laughs> before I was rudely interrupted again by a little meowing cat. Um, yeah. So I was saying, uh, I really enjoy collecting like uh, the English games that came out in Japan, and they just look completely different. Now this one is one that like is just the prime example of what I love to see. Now this game is called Party Moon, and I don't know if anyone can recognise what that one could be. So yeah, this is called Party Moon on the Super Famicom, uh, <laughs> and someone might recognise what this is. So this actually is Super Putty on the SNES, so like a really cheap SNES game, but I think this goes for quite a lot of, well, it's it's a harder one to find in Japan. Uh, I paid £7 for this one, uh, plus, oh sorry, with a postage, so it's like 13 quid. Um, so more than what you probably get the SNES one for but a lot cheaper than what you get the Super Famicom one for I'm sure it's about 30 40 quid game again so again another bargain from there and yeah I just love that box art it's just so crazy compared to our English one and they're just the name Party Moon I mean where did they get that from so <laughs> yeah really cool cool little addition so yeah so that was box number one that I got so I got my customs and then my eight quid charge for that one and that one came straight away this other one Kate took about a week and a half after that one to come uh, which I was a bit disappointed about but this is this is the stuff that I was really looking forward to getting so we will start off with one that isn't <laughs> and I've kind of got again just before the look of things just because of the look of it really and that is uh, Cat the Ripper so <laughs> why have I got that for it? So it's been, it's a reseal. It's not a re it's not a sealed one. Uh, in Japan, they like they seem to have, like to reseal in their games. So you've got the spine cards still on it, um, which is a really cool idea. It just makes it look so cool like that. And then you, you just get that enjoyment of opening it again. The only problem is you can't check the quality, condition of the discs. But with Japan, you know that that condition is going to be spot on. So why have I got this? So this is. Well, this isn't. I probably never play this game. This is just a, just one that's just going to set up my shelf. Now, all all in all, I paid ten quid for this, uh, which is probably a, a little bit more than what I should have really paid for it. I'm sure you probably get it somewhere a lot cheaper. But I mean, I love cats and I love like the cyberpunk setting that that's in. I don't know if anyone can see that, but that artwork on there just looks fantastic. <laughs> um, not much about it on the back. I think it's sort of like an FMV, not an FMV game, sorry. Um, well, yeah, sort of FMV, sort of a bit like a miss, sort of like um, action adventure sort of game. One that I know I definitely won't be able to understand. But I might just pop it up one time and have a play, blast on it, just see what it's like. But yes, I just saw that and just the name of it, Cat the Ripper. I just knew I had to have that. So yeah, it's, it actually has it written there on the side. So can understand what it is when I uh, put it in the shelves and yeah it's a cool horror game as well so it's all in all it's just a bit of a win for me really now I was looking for shooters for the uh, for the dream um, for the Sega Saturn and 
I missed pretty much all of them. So it was like, uh, what did I? What was the Strikers 1945 one? Because uh, I've got two on the PlayStation One. Uh, I think uh, what was it? Uh, layer Section One and Two, Sengoku Blade. I mean, the problem is I have got kind of like all of them as well, but I just want them on the Dream on the Saturn because it's just cool to have. Another game I've already got on the PlayStation 4, but I know I, the price of it was so cheap. I guess everyone was bidding for the other ones, and that is Game Paradise. Uh, the Game Paradise, which <laughs> so, this game, oh my goodness, is so bizarre. Like, you, you just have like different routes through, and like, there's one bit where you like go through and uh, you, you basically join this karaoke <laughs> and you're shooting. Shooting enemies while there's a karaoke happening in the background. It is just one of them like bizarre, cutesy games. Um, but yeah, I got this for fifth. Uh, well, sorry, twenty quid with postage. Um, so, if you know this, actually goes for a lot more. So again, another one I was really looking forward to getting. <laughs> and yeah just just a great addition to the uh, Sega Saturn Shooter library and I'll be giving this a blast straight away now 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 I've shown it off uh, and right next up right so <laughs> again I was saying I just want to get games that I can play again this is probably this is just broken like that rule but if you see if you see this you'll see why and that is police notes so if anyone knows what this is, basically this is, it's not a sequel, but it's sort of like a sequel, uh, sort of like side sequel to uh, Snatcher, um, which everyone obviously knows about. Um, a lot of people know about this now because of Snatcher, I suppose. Uh, so this is basically like sort of like a text adventure. Uh, well, not a text adventure, but like, yeah, it's just an adventure with like options that you choose in text. So something that I cannot play because it's all in Japanese. However, this has a um, this been translated, and I can get it onto a burnt disc and play it on my Sega Saturn when I get around to doing my bloody CD pseudo Saturn. So um, again, this is just so cool. What did I pay for it? Let's have a look. So uh, with postage. I paid 22 quid. Just think, if I didn't get these custom charges, all this would have been like a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. I would have been absolutely laughing. So, yeah, so the condition of this is just amazing. And again, like, it, it, because it's a bit misleading because on the back of it, it's all in English. If I don't know if that's focusing it very well. So it's all in English. And so you got your little sleeve. So obviously another winner because you know how much I like sleeves. It's <laughs> it's on a double double CD case again. Another winner, uh, and and again, all in Japanese on the back. Um, and it comes with the spine card, which is a bit of a bigger one, obviously, because it's a double disc one. And then it comes with this like amazing art book. So. Let's have a look inside of it. It smells really nice as well. <laughs> but yeah, the condition, the quality of like inside this art book is just brilliant. So you can see uh, this has been very, um, I think that basically this is just Die Hard in space. Not Die Hard, um, Lethal Weapon in space. So yeah, it's very, very recognisable characters there. <laughs> So it's got this like transparency one cell here as well, which is pretty cool. Two transparency cells. So it's just, yeah, it's such a cool little book, this. Um, so little sticker book, stickers on the back here. These are all little stickers. Obviously never gonna get used, but, and in fact, it's probably just gonna get put away straight away. But that just looks like it's never been through ever in its life and yeah I just can't wait I've heard so many good things about this so I can't wait to actually boot this up and actually give it a go because as I say that's one of the reasons why I'm getting the pseudo sign um, uh, so I can set that up and play these games I've got it downloaded I've got the actual translation and everything like that so I'm just good to go it's just as I say 
just getting the mod done on there, which hopefully I should get done this weekend. Um, but yeah, great condition, great item there. This is just like, this is just, I think this is my favourite bit of this whole lot, I think, even though I've got so many great things. Well, saying that, this is probably, uh, that was probably my favourite. This is probably my second favourite. However, this is the thing I've been wanting the longest, and that is the pocket station. So yeah, it's just a clear pocket station. And if anyone knows what this is, basically, it's just like a memory card that you put in um, and you can put little, certain games will have little games that you can put on here and play play on the go. A lot like the Dreamcast. So basically the Dreamcast came out and this was Sony's answer to it. And I've been, I've been wanting this for a long time, ever since I was a kid. And how much did I pay for this? Uh, I think yeah, two pound I paid for this. So eight quid in total with postage, I paid for this. That is just great value. I want to get another one. There's a white one as well, and I want to get that one as a box. So eventually, I'll have like a little cool little set going on. But for now, I'm, I'm just wanting to know what games I can play because I know some English games actually have like the pocket station like memory still in the like coding of it so you can actually use this on some english games and i think pocket fighters has something which i've got as well so yeah if anyone knows what games i can i can use with this so i can play things on the go let me know uh so yeah so that was my sega saturn uh, well my J japanese box so yeah a bit of information for people who's on the fence on the ordering stuff it, it I wouldn't just for me I would recommend just getting stuff if there's something that you want that you've been wanting for a long time get it order it from Japan because uh, even with customs it can be cheaper but you just got just factor in the customs charge think it's gonna be about six six to eight quid um, per item for the delivery and just factor that price on the top of everything and then that's well you can figure out what you want to pay for stuff then um i'm happy with what i paid for i would have been as i say it would have been better if i didn't have that 40 quid charge on it i'd have been so much happier then <laughs> but all in all really happy and i might as well add this in uh, this i got pretty much the same time but this is from england <laughs> and i paid 20 quid for this one so this is mickey mouse in Disneyland Tokyo so this is one of the Mickey like Capcom like is it Capcom no actually it's not Capcom is it so it's very similar it's like very similar to like the the, the Capcom Mickey get Mickey Mouse games um, I'm not too sure how this one plays because I've n obviously I've never played this one before but this was only 20 quid now it came not the best condition but um still not too bad not too bad it's just a bit of crushing on the sides there but it's still good to have in my set and as well like i i, I really like the mickey, mickey mouse games the capcom ones as i say it looks very similar to that so yeah um let me know what you think in the comments um thanks for watching bye